Let me quote something to you that I have heard over and over and over again in all the years that I've been in ministry. As I wish I could change, they say, but I can't. And uh, I'd always say to them, why can't you change? Well, I just can't, they say. Uh, and I would say, well, is there a dictator over you? Are, are you living in some place like Syria where you do have an excuse for not changing? Uh, and they'll just shrug their shoulders and say something like, I'm doing the best I can under the circumstances. And I'll say, well, uh, if you're under the circumstances, and I'll look under a table or something and say, why are you under there? Perhaps the reason that we don't change is that we feel comfortable with old habits and routines simply because, here it comes, they're familiar. We get comfortable in human mind with the familiar. However, if you feel strongly, deep down inside of yourself, that now is the time for change, you can change the course of your life. But how do you begin? Well, the first thing is you know that you have from God the freedom to change. And that freedom to change soars when you free up your thoughts by knowing that you can quit any negative habit and start a life-changing routine and further your education and go in a new direction to make your life better. You are free to do so when you decide you can do so. Often, we're the ones that imprison ourselves. And we have to let ourselves out of the prison. And the prison opens up, the doors open up from the inside, not from waiting for someone to come from the outside to turn the key. Don't let time, don't let circumstance dictate what you can do and when you can do it. In your freedom to be, you know with God there is a way. And with God, you can do this. God will show you the way when you open up to receiving the guidance from God. Through the Spirit of God within you, you have the freedom to be your best, to do the best in accomplishing your heart's desire. In 2 Corinthians 3, verse 17, it says, Now, now, now is the time that the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Well, I pray today that with the Spirit of God inside of you, that you are freed up to do the greatest things that you've ever done, that you're free to become and do your best.